up, y'all? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Guess what? We're going to uh, get drunk and talk about everything under the sun. <laughs> Show about anything, anything under the sun. We didn't do that. All right. Let's do it. This episode yeah, is fire. Check us out every week on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Spotify. Oh, shit. I come at you every week. First of all, this is for entertainment. We're not educational. Yeah. We're not. If you're coming to get your education from us, you are clearly misguided. Exactly. But, but check us out. We're the show about anything and everything under the sun. We Check us out. I show up. Like, what are you doing in there? He's like, I swear to God. Swear to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's legit. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with John. John? John. John? No, it's Tom. Tom and Joe. God damn, how drunk am I? Hey guys! What's going on? Oh, that's just drinking. Ah, screaming, I deserve this. <laughs> what did he deserve? Fuck! Like and subscribe so you get the notifications when we do drop something. Probably pretty fucking lame. But anyways, check it out. Drinking the Sun, a podcast about anything and everything under the sun. Honestly, dude, but you know the opening scene to Endgame where it shows Hawkeye and yeah, his family? Yeah, yeah. That has got to be the one of the most tear-jerking moments in all movie pretty, history. Well, and, like, to me, when I watch it, uh, I, I go, it gets me every time. It's, it's so good because it's like, everything is, everything, he's, they're having a great day. Yeah. Everything's awesome. Then all of a sudden, what, what, where's your mother? What, hey, where, what? Where the fuck is everyone at? Like, yeah. you know, it's just gone. I mean, I can appreciate that, but the the one in Marvel that get, got me the most was when Spider-Man died. Oh really? Tony Hawk. T- Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. <laughs> Tony Hawk was skating. I mean, Spider-Man was skating in that movie, basically. <laughs> when he was dying in front of Tony Hawk, that's that's what Tony Hawk was like. I got the half pipe, bro. <laughs> really? That got you? Yeah, but I haven't watched it since. I mean, it's a good performance. Don't get me wrong, because he's like, man, man, Mr. Shark. And, and the thing was, and what I what comes to my mind, and I think I saw this somewhere. I think I read it somewhere or saw it somewhere, is what people forget to realize is Spider-Man has a spider sense. So death would be like the most painful thing like going on. Yeah. Like he knows shit's about shit ain't right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so he knows he's dying before he dies. That's fucked up. Yeah. So yeah, it, it that's pretty that's I mean it's a good pull, but that's really the only pull I got. And at least in the in the Marvel universe. Or anything like that. I mean, there's other scenes. Like, the dumbest scenes make me tear up in movies. Like, the stupidest shit. I don't know. You can tear me up in movies if you do if you do it right. If you do it right, well, if it's I'm going right, to fucking... Even, I'm going to cry. Oh, yeah. Like, I really am. I, I've cried a lot of fucking... Oh, yeah. Like, too. Jojo Rabbit? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. At the end of what that is, movie. Oh, yes. When, oh, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, It's a kid in Nazi Germany. No, yeah, I remember. I, Who's I, a fucking I German? Yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, my it's, God, dude. Yeah. At the end when his mom dies. Yeah. And he's got a, he's like looking. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so fucked up. Yeah. It's so fucked up. That, that made a, me that's cry That's the one that instantly. tricks you, though. That movie's like, oh, it's Happy Go Lucky. If you, do, if you haven't not. read it. If you haven't read it. Because it's a book. Oh, it's too. a book, too? Yeah, it's a book. So if you haven't read the book, you're like, oh, and then you go, and you're like, ah. Oh. Well, well, that and, and Taika Waititi's vision on that movie was fucking. Yeah, it was. Just, it was well done. Stellar. It was like well it was done. really good. It, yeah, because it was happy go lucky. Yeah. It was funny as fuck <laughs> yeah. up until the fucking end. Yeah, yeah. And it, and then the whole time you have to remind yourself, like this kid's living in a fucked up time. Yeah. Like this kid has no like. You yeah. gotta think of like how fucked. I mean, honestly, and that storyline so, um, is so fucked up. Like a kid growing up. In Nazi Germany has no idea yeah. that what he's been telling, what he's been taught, and be, yeah. is bullshit, right? Yeah. It's so he like it, that'd be a fucked up way of like I just can't fathom it. Yeah, because, you know what I mean? Like I can't. Yeah, yeah it's you're outside up. looking in. I mean, if you were there, you'd be the same way. You would be the same way. You'd be like, 
Oh, I guess fucking Hitler's establishing camps up. What's he doing? Camps? Camps for who? <laughs> well, these people are on camping trips. Really killing them. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, dude, yeah. I can't imagine it. I cannot yeah. fucking imagine it. It's but such it's, a fucked up premise. But that's why that movie made me cry. Yeah. In so many different... Because they're hiding that Jewish girl in his yeah, house. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And then, like, there's parts of that, and it's, it's like, oh yeah. my God, this movie's so good. It is, so good. It's very good. It's very well done. Man. There's man. a lot of parts of movies that made me cry. Oh. And one that gets me every time, and I, I think I've said this before, and, I, and I'm going to say it again, and it gets me every fucking time. Is when fucking you realize Anakin has turned to the dark side of the force. For real. Like every time he's on there on Mustafar and he's talking to Padme and then he's like fucking chokes her out and fucking for real and fucking dude it gets me every time it, she's like she, Padme's like Anakin you're destroying me he's like you don't understand <laughs> you know what I mean like oh my god it gets me and then especially when he's like Obi Wan comes out he's like bitch and he fucking chokes her out and it's like oh my god bro. It's like, oh my god, he's turning his dark side. Like, it gets me every fucking that, time. That's, I think that's that the scene, fandom. That scene that's gets me every time. That's the Star Wars coming out because it, like, I don't it makes me cry every time. And there's a, there's a couple Star Wars. I mean, I can see different parts of. There's a couple. But not Star that Wars scene parts. for me. Anyway. That one gets me, it's especially when he's like, when him and Obi Wan's having that fucking conversation. He's like, Anakin, what are you doing? It's for democracy. He's like. Don't make me kill you. You're like, oh shit. He's like, I will do what I must. He's like, you will try. And then boom! They, oh my god, it's just it makes me fucking gives me it, it gives that scene gives me every fucking and it makes me cry right there every time that scene and when he's fucking uh when he kills the, the when he actually Order sixty six kicks off as I'm saying like Star Wars makes me cry a lot like w- when Order sixty six kicks off yeah. that whole entirety thing you're like oh my god. And then when he gets to the fucking kids, and he's like, pow! Like, he's going to kill these motherfuckers. It, it breaks me every fucking time. Every time. No, I ha- now, there are scenes. The only scene, I don't know why, and I've talked about this one before. The only scene that's coming to mind at all is the scene in Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding Jr. Snow- oh, my God. <laughs> it's the I don't worst. think I've ever seen it. I know it's what movie you're talking worst. about. But I it is it. so, like... It's shit like that, like, I bet I would probably maybe tear up when Old Yeller gets killed. Really? Maybe. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Old Yeller, I forgot about it until just now. Yeah, that, that one's a good one. But um, but in Snow Dogs, they're about to go off the cliff. Like, he's off the side of the shit, and the dogs try really hard and save his life. And it made me tear up and cry. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, like, movies do that to you. Because but, but, because a good movie is going to draw you. Another one that does it to me every fucking time is, um, oh, I just had it in my head. Oh, Batman. Batman Begins. When Bruce Wayne's mom and dad get killed. Oh, yeah? And Bruce Wayne's dad's talking to him. He's like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, this kid just lost everything right there. Like, that gets me every time, That's too. That's crazy. See, like, I'm really hoping you'll touch on one that I, I can remember because I'm drawing blanks, like, hardcore. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to because when you was talking, I was trying to think of something. Like, because there's a lot like, of movies that, have, like, oh, fucking, I've, I've said this before, in, I think, in the past, was Peanut Butter Falcon with Shia LaBeouf. And I don't remember the kid's name, but he's got Down syndrome and shit. And there's a scene in there where the kid is talking about, like, how his, his teachers, his coaches... Everyone in his life has always made fun of him. Yeah. And Shia LaBeouf's the only one who isn't making fun of him. And he's like, man, fuck that. You know, he, he, cause he, he's hearing this kid and he's like his idol. It's, it's a fucking emotional fucking scene. Yeah. Gets me every fucking time. That's a great movie too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it. I have seen parts of it and I could see how it would be a great movie, but I, I haven't seen it unfortunately. Um, Hi there. There is another <laughs> scene when I saw this one. The very end scene of Sea Biscuit. Have you ever seen Sea Biscuit? No, I have never I, seen it. I, I with like Tobey Maguire. With Tobey Maguire. I've never seen I it. I fell in love with that because I saw a documentary <laughs> and heard about it before I watched the movie, and it's it's pretty accurate. But like the end scene, they finally win like a race that they've been trying to win this whole time. What is it, Kentucky Derby? And it's not the Derby. I think it's the Santa Ana or some shit. Oh, really? So, something Isn't it like based that. on true story? It's based on true story because. Sea Biscuit, the horse, was on the cover of like Time Magazine that year. Really, it was like during the Depression, and everybody looked to this horse for hope. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't make it, we can eat him. 
<laughs> but it's a good story. And uh, th- both of them get fucked up. The horse breaks its leg at one point, like Toby does too. They're both getting fucked up, but they finally, at the end of the movie, they win the race. They've been chasing the whole time. Yeah. And that tears me up. I'm about to cry now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought of another one that tears me, teared me up when I first saw it. And I've only seen, I think I've only seen this movie twice. That's what a lot of these are. Like, a lot of these, like, I've cried, and I've never watched it again. Probably because I don't want to go through that I don't want to cry again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I, um, one, like I said, and this was a movie I was never, good. I never wanted to see. I put it off for so fucking long, and I finally watched it with Zombieland. Oh, yeah? And the scene where Woody Harrelson is talking about, you eventually learn, like, he's like, so-and-so would like this. It, it was a fucking weird nickname. I can't remember what the nickname was. Um... But you, it sounded like he was talking about a, like a pet, like a yeah. dog, the whole movie. Mm-hmm. And then this one scene, he finally reveals that that was his nickname for his son. Oh wow! And he's like, and how he lost him was uh, during yeah. the apocalypse. And yeah. So he saw, you know, it was it's a fucked up scene. It's really it's like holy shit. And like, that one got me. Got it, me. It, it comes across almost out of place because that's a comedy, but they'll do that to you sometimes. Yeah, but it, yeah, but it, it's comedy drama because I mean you got to think it's, it's, a it's a comedy. Inside of a <clears throat> apocalyptic world, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So there was that. So yeah, 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 and they do do that in fucking comedies a lot. That's what makes a lot of great comedies. Yeah, is when it fucking gets you to a point where you you think it's like why why is this making me laugh? Well, yeah, this is why. And fucking, you know, yeah, a great comedy would do that. Yeah, I <sighs> will pull you in, fucking. Uh, but yeah, man, fucking. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of something. Cause I, I, there's so many movies where like, I watch and I sit there and I start crying. I'm like, I'm really crying about the, this. The, the, and I legit would draw a tear. I'm oh like, no, God. I've I've been there many times. And there's two other ones. I've probably talked about these before in the past. And they're girly movies. But a walk to remember, that one, that one will get me. It's they're all a walk just, to remember. They're all like romantic. Who's that? Who's in that? It's a uh, fuck. I don't even know who's in it. Jennifer Garner. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. I don't know. Oh, name. it's probably Mandy Moore. <clears throat> Mandy Moore is in it. Is it? It is Mandy Moore, but I can't remember the dude. I don't know who the dude Some is. Some guy. Some guy. Jay he... Gyllenhaal. <laughs> it's probably it's probably somebody that people should know, but I don't remember his name. But anyways, yeah, it's him, and he's like a punk kid, and then they fall in love, and she dies because she's got like cancer or some shit. Oh shit. Yeah. And then uh, the Notebook. They both die at the end of that. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that no is that the one where they like time travel shit? No. Well, well, kind of, kind of. They, no, they don't time travel. Oh, they just flip through the no, story. No, you're, you're thinking. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Am I thinking of Bill and Ted's Excellent no, no, Adventure? No, 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 no. Just go back in our history and watch the the Summer House or whatever the fuck the short is. Oh, it's yeah. this bit. Yeah, <laughs> the mailbox. The mailbox, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Because that's what he's thinking all over again. Exactly what I'm thinking of. Because the notebook is Ryan Gosling and, uh, and, some and chick. Uh, Rachel... Uh, McAdams? No. No, Rachel Adams. Okay. Not Mick Adams. Not the Mick. But Adams. <laughs> yeah. There's a difference. There is. There no, it's is. Amy McAdams, ain't it? I don't... Is it Rachel? Fuck if I know. I know it's Rachel Adams in that movie. Yeah. Because she's the same chick who played in Dead Eye with Cillian Murphy and her. And she was in Wedding Crashers. Okay. As the one that, uh, uh, was it Owen Wilson? Owen Wilson's character liked. Huh. Rachel, Rachel Adams. Okay, anyways. Maybe it's Mick <clears throat> Adams. I don't fucking know. <laughs> there's probably a difference is there, if there's a Mick or an Adams. But anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's not Rachel A. Cook. Yeah. I know it's not her. But anyways, at the end of that one, it, it, it gets me there too. Oh, yeah. But, but... Because she has dementia in that. See, a lot like, of Batman movies get me a lot of times. Are you dude. for real? Dude, Batman movies get me all the time. Like, fucking, uh... What's, there's no, I mean, the fucking... I already said the fucking, uh... The intro to Batman Begins. Yeah. That one gets me every time. Fucking, uh... There's a couple with Alfred. I don't remember him. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the anime series I'm thinking of. Or, or it could be Michael... Kane, like crying, he's an old man. Old there's, people make there's cry. There's some Michael Kane's. He, he does cry a lot. That's Master not, Wayne. That's not bad, but it's not good either. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like someone who's trying to do something stupid. Or Sean Connery. 
a mix. Sean Connery sounds more like this, you son of a bitch. Oh no, Goldfinger. I know your purpose. Anyways. That's Sean Sean Connery's Connery. never made me cry. No. Never. <laughs> no. The last James Bond made me cry. I never I watched I, I watched it, man. It, uh what the fuck I is hear it called? he supposedly dies. He does! It's not supposedly. It happens. And I'm like, oh my god, they just killed James Bond off? I'm like, you fucking kidding it's me. It's about damn time. <laughs> James Bond's awesome. I love James Bond movies. Uh, I I haven't seen. I love all of James Bond movies. I like Pierce Brosnan. He's got honestly. James I think Bond. I think fucking um, Daniel Craig is the best James Bond in my opinion. Like honestly, I really do. I think I, I like him a lot. He's my favorite one, and I like Sean Connery movies. I like. A couple. I mean, Pierce Brosnan did what two of them? Yeah, but I thought he had a good James Bond look. He did. It's just like GoldenEye. I rewatched not too long ago. Is it no good? I the mean, game's it, better. Huh? <laughs> the game's better. The game is better. <laughs> but I don't know. I still enjoyed it, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, I really can't think of him without thinking of uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Anytime I think of Pierce, that Brosnan, movie is fucking. <laughs> that's all. That's all. I, I almost about. watched that the other day <laughs> because I was flipping through shit, and I'm like, Mrs. Doubtfire. I ain't seen this movie in a minute. And Robin Williams is, is comedy gold, in my opinion. Like, there's not a... I, I don't know too many Robin Williams movies I don't like. I haven't seen a lot of them, unfortunately. Even his serious roles, I like. I've heard that they're really good. I, I haven't like seen of any of them. I, don't I think. feel like we've done this before. But we probably have. But no, yeah, Robin Williams, I like all of his shit. Like, there's a lot of, like Good Will Hunting, he's in that. He's really Never good in that. It. Fucking, you want to get comedy Dead movies. Society and all that shit. Yeah, I didn't watch that one. Um... Yeah, it's not funny. I did watch Insomnia, Insomnia with him and Al Pacino. Yeah, and that, that photo, was good. 24 hour photo. 20, I watched that I one. Seen that uh, but his comedies are fucking great, too. Like, fucking, I love, like, Miss Doubtfire, dude. That movie's a shit. Yeah. Good morning, Vietnam. That movie's funny as fuck, dude. <clears throat> um, There's all kinds of them. I, yeah, Robin Williams just cracks me up. Oh, uh, yeah. For real. He's good, and I. But unfortunately, but yeah, I but like crying, I don't know. I, I think I've came to a halt. On the I think I, I think. Because, I, but I've too. cried. Now I know I've cried a thousand. Oh, me too. Different it movies. Happens, and the problem is, I just can't. You. It's just not coming to my yeah, head. Yeah, we're. It's too on the. Sp- Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk on the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.